Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we will be discussing startup apps. Now startup apps is something that I recently dealt with a personal uh, a family member of mine. They needed help with phone link, which was starting up when they booted up their computer phone link would start up. And a lot of times here at my computer works, we get calls about startup apps or basically when you boot up your computer, maybe you get like a pop up or something on screen or an application opens and you are wondering why. Well, this is going to cover exactly why that is OK. And not only that, but by adjusting this one little setting by going into the to the task manager, like I'm about to show you how to do and adjusting startup apps, you could actually uh, improve the performance of your computer at boot if you had you know, like a lot of unnecessary applications or things you don't need running inside of the startup apps area. Just by disabling those, you'll be able to improve the performance of your computer. So let's check it out on screen here. I'm going to be showing how to do it. Um, here we are at w Windows 11. This is going to cover for Windows 11. It'll work for Windows uh, 10 as well. It just looks a little different in the task manager. So we are going to open the task manager. Easiest way to do that is just to right click the start menu and click on task manager. And boom, we have the task manager. Another way to do it would be to do control shift and escape, which will open the task manager. Or even if you do the good old control alt and delete and choose task manager from that window, that's okay as well. However you get here on the sidebar, we have this option for startup apps. And so if we click that, it's going to give us a full list of all of the applications that can or are currently starting up when we uh, start our computer. So it's kind of in the name, right? Startup apps. That's what they do when the computer starts up or comes out of uh, sleep or locked out or signed out and you sign back in. Um, mostly the sign out and the restart. These are going to or even shut down and starting again these are going to open up. Okay. So uh, you can see I have a number here. Like I said the other day, a family member of mine was having an issue with phone link. They didn't understand what it was or why it was always starting up when their computer started up. And that's because it was enabled. You see, can see up at the uh, top here at the top, right? We have enable disable. You can also right click on it and disable or right click on it and enable. OK, so right now I have all mine turned off because when my computer turns on, I don't want anything turning on with it, at least not this one, uh, because this is uh, used for a very specific purpose. If I need to use some of these updaters or um, use any of these programs or applications that are disabled here, I can just go and start them up myself or run them uh, myself. But many times people will ask about certain things like teams or um, which I don't have installed here, but Teams is a big one that'll launch uh, right when your computer starts or you know, if you have other applications on there that are set to do that, why are they always opening or why, are do, why am I always, always getting pop-ups for those? This is why startup apps. So get in there, check out your startup apps, see what you have turned on and uh, disable and enable appropriately as to you know whatever your specified needs are or what you're using those applications for. Thank you all for watching. Please, if you need help with your computer, reach out to us. We'd be happy to help. Numbers at the beginning, into the video, and down in the description. And while you're down there, please hit that like and subscribe if you haven't already, and share this video so others can get this great information. Adjusting those startup apps really makes a big change. You'll see once you disable all the ones that you don't need or the unnecessary ones, give your computer a restart. You might notice that uh, it's you know running a little better because of not not as much running, not as much being used system resources and things like that. So check that out. And again, like and subscribe before you go. We'll see you on the next one.